that's just the way it fucking is. <laughs> Hi. Hello. We're driving to LA. Ooh. Girls trip. We should play your song. My song? I'm dropping a song soon. You're just a really good writer. And it's just good to be creative. Yeah. It's just an outlet. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Do whatever the heck you want. I can't stand you. I'm dropping to my knees. You're the only thing that I don't want to be. I'm not good at the on the spot business. Like, oh, I can do it on the spot. Did. I did do it on the spot, but just to myself. You can't spit a beat? No. I'll spit a beat for you. Okay. So I'll put some cats it up. I can't wait to shop. Yeah. <laughs> In my shop at iGirl Bundles, I give away so much of my clothes because I'm like, oh, this one just looks so good. And I write notes in all of the, the bundles, so like you'll know when it comes from my personal wardrobe, too. Palm Springs to Los Angeles. I know, I'm probably killed up. <laughs> oh, there she goes. There she goes again. Ooh, classical case. It's a classical case of the popping. Oh, does it? <laughs> Sending a watch people popping videos. Is that just me? Just Wait, so what was your first kiss? My first kiss was in two kilometers. Video. Take exit and seven onto Santa Monica Boulevard and see. He's a manly man. He was like six feet, but he's my age. And he had like facial hair already. Wait, but who was he? <laughs> was who was this man? guy? <laughs> and I was 14, and it was also my first Where kiss. Where was it? Where was that? It was in a movie theater. You were 14 and he had facial hair? Yes. Was he, he 14? Was the same age. Exact same age. Oh, is this like oh, Colonel what Carter? Is he Italian or something? Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Arriving. Oh, did she? Hello. Hello. Hey, Bella. Just doing some shopping. Nice. To go to. And it's only like 20, which is good for a tea. Yeah? Some of these other teas are like 75, 120. This is like. Oh, these are cute. Yeah. So many cute little things in here. Like, look at this rosary. It's like mine. Except Let me see it. <laughs> and mine. I like how Bella's a religious organization on Instagram. Yeah. How come you chose that? Honestly, I was just choosing things and I wanted something ironic. And it just fit. Yeah. Because to be able to like post things on your story with a link, you need to be a business on Instagram and I had to choose what kind of business I was. And I didn't know Oh, say, I didn't know that. Yeah, because you know how you can like swipe Yeah, you up. can swipe up. I was actually going to ask you how you do that. Yeah, it's you have to become a business. Mm. Getting back to the hotel. I love the hotel we're in. The standard, it's so cute. Today I did some shopping in LA and I just wanted to show off some of the goodies that I found. There's literally not a single ounce of good shopping in Winnipeg. Take off my, my stompers. Get to it. Okie doke. I went to Vortex, I think it's called Vintage Vortex, is what I got here. And then I went to Varsity. And then I went to The Best Squaresville. And then this other place called Replay Vintage. We'll start right here, because this is the last shop that I went to. So I got a bunch of really cute sunglasses there. I got these sunnies that I love because it has like these little flowers right here and it's like metallic silver around the rims and then they're just like tiny and remind me of Lizzie McGuire. Um, so these are already mine. I got these at Free People. And then these I also copped there. I can do a very easy try on of all of these glasses. So these blue ones are adorable. And then the next sunnies I got 
or these suckers. I've been meaning to get a pair like this for a while. They're like the classic early 2000s butterfly shape. And it has these little rhinestones here. But I got them in the like black gray gradient. But now I'm kind of regretting that I didn't get baby blue. Okay, I am obsessed with these two skirts that I got. They're definitely like old bathing suit bottoms. There was, okay, let me just show you that. I'm so excited. <laughs> Clothes make me so happy, it's stupid. Okay, so this skirt, it's like silky, and it has like some marks on it from age and wear, which I kind of like when things are a bit ratty because it just shows they're like been pre-loved to death. Um, but I got this one to complete like all my Betty Boop looks because the little polka dots and the red and the little pleated trim along the bottom and it has this little adjustable buckle here to like accommodate right to my waist size so i love this bad boy and everyone else i was with my sister and my cousin were like you need the pink one instead of the red one so i was like fuck it i'm gonna buy them both don't just think i'm like this super brat i came here like prepared to shop because i sold a bunch of my clothes before um and then here's the pink one which is like such a delicate little salmon pink. And then it has like a cream colored trim. How adorable is that? Next I'll do Squaresville. Squaresville is like my favorite vintage store in LA because it's very much curated to my style, like 90s grunge. Cause I, I find that a lot of vintage shops have tons of different eras and I really like the 90s era and early 2000s era so it's definitely my type of theme and their prices are great like you can find super rare stuff for like $18 it's not like charity shop pricing but oh my god look at this pile this is like a dream <laughs> okay first piece this little white cotton um and lace gun sacks dress this isn't 90s era, obviously, like I was just explaining, but it's definitely, uh, the 90s loved that Renaissance revival baby doll look, and this is definitely something that would have been worn by like a 90s queen, like Courtney Love. So yeah, it has this like massive lace collar, and then it has like a, a drop waist, and it's just all around the cutest thing ever. I'm obsessed with this dress. I got this veil, cause we all know she a goth hoe. I honestly can't believe this is my first veil. Um, I got this super cute, I think it's 90s era, Ralph Lauren one piece swimsuit. And it has uh, this like ribbed fabric that kind of looks like a knit, like a vintage knit and then the white trim and it's just in great condition considering the era and then it has this little embroidered ralph lauren logo here yeah love it this is such a come up i'm a i'm gonna cry this daria tea daria is like my favorite old cartoon of all time and I would give a limb for them to drop another season. Honestly, I need another season. I found these two mega adorable Y2K. It's cute. So you're gonna keep it? Yeah. Why did you want to keep it? Of course I wanted to keep it. I found it for myself. I just wanted to try it on. You can have it, of course, it's yours. You bought it. Can't even look at it. Okay. You can have it though, because I know I found a bunch of stuff today. I'm I'm not that. Um. Okay. The skirts. Can I keep it? Yes, you can keep it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So the skirts here. Thank you, Bella. Yeah, it's fine. Um. Is it mean? Should I give it back to you? No, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I need to forget it even existed. 
So these skirts, the length is not totally me because it's like knee length and I'm such a hoe. I love like a tiny mini skirt where my ass is hanging out. But these have the most deadly, incredible prints and the fabric is like super satiny that I had to cop. And even if I'm not in love with the length, I love a raw hem too. Here's the heart one. And then this skirt, which is the same company, which is Paris Blues. And it has these little lipsticks, like a blue and green lipstick. Like, shut the fuck up. That's too cute. Loves it. I got this spike choker, which I love. And it's like true vintage. I could tell by the leather that it's old. Yeah, this is definitely like a 90s era spike choker. J'adore. I got this dress. When I come shopping in LA, it's always really fun because I'll acquire like a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> and I really like to experiment with new things because I think the most exciting thing about fashion is phases that you go through in fashion and just what you love. Like certain things that I was like, I would never wear that. I'm always wearing them now. And it's so funny how you see yourself a certain way, but then a few years later, you see yourself in a completely different light. For example, some friends that I have that are goth, they're like, I only wear black and I strictly wear black. And I honestly think that's kind of sad because you should be able to dive into tons of different fashion and trends and genres and not feel constricted to one title or um, just fashion choice. Like I, I love to incorporate different colors. I also love wearing all black. It's just fashion is whatever you make it and whatever you feel confident in. I think that's the most important thing is to make a look a look, you have to rock it. If you feel uncomfortable in it, nobody's gonna be all stoked on what you're wearing. To make something iconic, you have to like be confident in it. So yeah, this little t-shirt mini, I think it's like 1980s era or 90s. I think it was a youth dress. Oh, love is a kiss for no reason. That's cute. And it's a little mini and it's a neon pink. I got this little, 90s Betsy Johnson little black dress that has these floral straps and the only thing that I don't love about this piece is that it doesn't have any stretch it's just zip up closure along the back and um yeah it's very cute I got these very Lolita inspired uh blue denim high-rise shorts that have white eyelet trim they're like a little bit ratty and falling apart but that's my favorite part because that's how it's grunge right yeah, super cute i got this hat which is out of my comfort zone too i love to bring myself out of my comfort zone and then i make myself comfortable in things that i wasn't previously comfortable in but like this hat, for example, is like this fuzzy cheetah print, 1990s. It's really flexible. So you could kind of make it into whatever look you want. Like it could look kind of like a bucket hat. And then it could kind of also turn into a cowboy hat, depending how you structure it. Obsessed. I need to send my boyfriend a photo of this tee and he's going to fucking scream. But it's an old AFI tee, and it has this like coffin and these bat wings, and just like cute as hell. And then let me turn it around, you're gonna scream. It has like two little cherub babies sleeping on their graves, and then this like purple bat, whatever, monster man. I love you. My boyfriend's gonna love this. And then I got this halter dress that's like patchwork-esque because it has like the polka dot up here and then it has the plaid down here. And it's super cute maxi style. 
and it has these major slits along each side which I actually love because I want to wear with a pair of shorts underneath. Like, even these um, sh white shorts that I'm wearing right now would look super cute underneath this. And that is it for Squaresville. Next, we'll move on to Varsity. Y'all are going to die. I've been wanting... Stupid, good, fucking tank girl march. Moment of silence. It has all these little booze things and then tank girl looking like a hottie. I need to start wearing band-aids on my forehead because that is a damn look. And she's wearing like black glossy lipstick. And then one more. I rarely come up on really cute baby tees that are color. So this is like a primary blue baby tee with the tank girl on it and I love vintage cotton because it's so cozy and so stretchy and I just love the fit of this bad boy so yeah I got two super rare tank girl tees and then the last bag here is from vintage vortex I got this Velvet baby doll 90s era dress that has crushed velvet and like lace patches and stupid cute and it's by a brand called Hannah Casual USA. Very cute. And then the last item here is this baby pink little leotard. Yeah, it has this like lace trim here. And then it has the lace trim along the bottom there too. And it smells like it was just washed, which is great for vintage. And that is all. Love you. This tea though. Hi, your girls at Dolls Kill today. We're shooting and we just finished my hair and makeup. Let's look at some of the stuff we're shooting today. Here's a rack. Stuff we're shooting. And all the amazing shoes. Um, cute. Love this. And these vinyl pants. Dummy hard. Here's the little hair and makeup station. Yeah. I'll try to take more vids, but it's a work day for me, so. Honestly, I want to see the plaid pants. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. We should check on the way back. Okay, we are literally in the midst of dyeing our hair blue. And then heard there was an instinct pop-up across the street. So we are on route. I look like a noodle. <laughs> Code looks cute, though. Why do I look like a noodle? No, I look weird as shit. Anywho, hair. I'll take another vid when we're there. Okay, well, we didn't <laughs> find it, but um, we'll be back tomorrow.